So streaming is a fun way to meet new people and put yourself out there in the world, both literally and figuratively. But let's be honest, it's the internet and there's a lot of creeps and sucky people out there. We've seen with a lot of popular streamers, it can range from just stream sniping in game and griefing all the way to more extreme stuff like swatting, which has actually been really dangerous for a lot of people. So in this edition of the lab, we're gonna talk about how you can keep your privacy when you're streaming. So what things should you try to keep private? Well, the first and most important thing is your address. You don't need people knowing where you live to stalk or harass you or do any of the crazy stuff like I said with swatting. The next thing is to keep your personal details private. So of course your address, your phone number, email address, birthday, social security number. You wanna keep all this private because any type of personal details people can get, they can do a lot of things to basically steal your identity and use social engineering tricks to hack into your accounts. And finally, you wanna keep your accounts private. Like don't let people know your personal Discord account or your Steam account or any other accounts or passwords or emails because they will flood it with spam or they'll try and get your account banned. So how do we protect these different things and keep ourselves secure and keep our privacy? So if you're doing like a just chatting stream, maybe watching some YouTube videos or just reacting to images or things on Reddit, your browser is potentially the easiest way for people to find out your location or find out info for about you. So there's things like autofill or your search history or just when you type things up, things pop up or you may have location tracking enabled and it might show businesses that are nearby you and people can kind of triangulate your location from that. So what I recommend is if you're gonna be showing a browser, basically have a browser dedicated for streaming. So this browser doesn't have anything logged in, no accounts logged in and use the incognito window. So there's no tracking. Maybe if you can use a VPN, if this is a separate computer, basically don't let people know what's nearby you or what's around you. And don't let people see your history or your email accounts or anything that you've been looking at to basically find out more about you to use against you. So if you're gonna be IRL streaming, make sure that you start your stream when you're far away from your house, you're not close to your house, and make sure you end your stream before you go home or wherever you're gonna be staying at. This is so people don't stalk you basically. And you know, always try to go to public places and maybe anticipate stream snipers, so add a bit of stream delay. You know, if you're using like a backpack relay system. And if you're streaming with friends, you know, ask your friends to be careful, you know, make sure that they're not showing their phones saying phone numbers out loud, saying locations out loud, or where people are going, or maybe you're trying to keep your identity private, so don't use your real name. You know, kind of give your friends a brief on how everyone can protect their identities. So I think everyone's almost always forgotten that they left their microphone on or their webcam on when they're streaming. So if you leave your microphone on, you know, you might go and order a pizza and you call on the phone and you give your phone number, you give your address or you leave your webcam on and there's something in the background that might you know, reveal your location or a window or something. Now, there's a couple ways to avoid this. So, you know, always just be aware to see if your microphone's on or not and set a hotkey to mute, unmute your microphone. That's really handy. And for your webcam, I recommend using something like Expert VCam so you can just replace your background. And that way, if you need to step away and do something, you know, mute your microphone, walk off screen and all they'll see is whatever background you put up. So for those of you on two PC setups, a lot of times you're probably showing the desktop of your gaming PC. So I recommend always trying to switch to like a full face cam scene or an intermission scene during these periods. That way you can protect any stuff that might be sitting on your desktop. Or if you don't like switching scenes, have like a toggle for a source to basically cover your screen. So, you know, you prevent stuff. And like, if you're in a game, maybe you wanna like not let people see when you're about to queue into the match so you can prevent stream sniping. This is a really handy way to do this. So I also recommend maybe disabling the notifications in your apps, especially messaging apps. So if you have notifications that pop up from friends or people that you know, or messaging chat services, it might reveal their names or their usernames, and they can basically kind of find out your personal ID from that. There's some apps that are great, like Discord, where Discord has a streamer mode, where it'll detect streaming software being active and hide certain private details when you display the app unless you disable it. 
So hide this stuff. Another thing too is if you're using your streaming account, like let's say you use your Twitch account or Facebook account or YouTube account to log into a streaming service, maybe it's like a donation tip jar. Every once in a while, you should review the access to these services because likely it's pulling personal data along from your Twitch account, like your email address. And these services come and go, so you don't want to hear about an unfortunate security breach on one of these services and your information is leaked from that. So always kind of review your different services and make sure that you're still using them. And if you're not, just revoke access from them and delete that account if you're creating an account on it. And, you know, make sure to kind of mix up your passwords between different websites as well. But I want to know from me, what steps do you take to secure your privacy? And what are some things that you feel people are maybe too lax about with keeping their privacy? And is privacy and security important to you? Let me know in the comments, give a like and share this video if it was helpful. And be sure to subscribe for the next time we're in the lab.